Wow, indeed. Wow, indeed. Just jumped straight on me. No problem. You know? No, no, it's gonna jump on me. Hello. Hiya. No, it's going to jump on me. Hiya. Right then, guys. So if you're able, if you want to come back, just around the table. Just because this is where the lemurs know to come to to get their food. So in here, we have got 13 ring-tailed lemurs, as I say, including our two littlest babies, who are about three months old now. Um, so these guys will come on over. As I say, just resist the urge to stroke them, if that's OK, because they can get a little bit nibbly. Um, but when we give these guys food, I'm going to break up some fruit and veg. And as I say, just a nice flat hand and they will take it from you more than happily. The babies are now starting to have a little bit of fruit and veg off people as well. So you can see if it's something that they want to have. I am just going to pop the biscuits just down on the table to keep them out of the way and distract a couple of them for a moment. Just to make life a bit easier. So, <laughs> I'll start telling you about these guys properly in just a moment. I'll just get you eating a little bit of food first. <laughs> and then I'll do the proper introduction. Lily won't hurt you, darling. Won't. Come here, they won't hurt you. So as I say, just a nice flat hand. There we go. I'm going to have that. If you want to come forward, sweet, and you can have that bit. Oh hold your hand out. Hold your hand out. He wants it. Oh my god, he just grabbed it. You guys, these little bits. That's all right. So what is this? They are. This group is oh, mostly related to each other. So most of these guys are siblings and half siblings. Leader of this group is Rakoto. She's the little lady just sat here munching away on the biscuits. Yeah. She is also mum to the two newest babies. Oh. We've then got another breeding female who's the lady just on the log. This is Abby. So she's the other mum to some of the babies in here. And then dad to one of the babies is the handsome fellow just on the corner of the table by you guys. Oh God. That is Mouse. Can you think no. more is, it, is it scary, Andy? Andy, is it scary? Oh, no. no. Of the no, 13, 11 of them have got names. Yeah. The only ones who don't at the moment are the two little babies. They're two little boys, but we haven't named them yet. But most of this group are boys. We've only got four girls in here. Everybody else is a boy. So there's lots of cheeky boys in here. They've all got their own personalities. You'll see some of them are very, very confident, very happy to climb on you. Some of them would rather sit back a little bit, which is absolutely fine. Come here. Come they it's do so have soft. Food from these favourites with and food, so I'm going to try and just pick out some of the stuff that I know they definitely like. <laughs> but all That's lemurs good. are what we call frugivores. Oh, they hello. just eat fruits and vegetables. Lily! 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 If I've had one on me... If you guys want to have a little bit here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, if you guys want to lean over and I'll give you guys a little bit. I'll give you two bits and then she can have a little bit there. Lindy, there you go, Lily. And then I suppose if you want to have that. Thank you. Here you go. That's all. Come on, Lily. Just come in to grab the food. That's all. Give in the food, Lily. I'm trying. <laughs> just hold your hand flat out. Hold your hand flat out because in the. Oh, it's in your... these hands. Well, I have two, Mummy. Oh. So, ring tail lemurs. Look at him, obviously, she's got no two on prizes him. for guessing where these guys get that name from. <laughs> There's about 110 different types of lemur, but these guys are probably the most well known. Partly because most zoos have got these. If you oh they've got lemurs, these yeah. are probably the guys that you've seen. Um, but also, if you've seen the Madagascar yeah. films, oh, yeah. these guys are King Junior. Yeah. So, a lot of people know. Hold your hand out. Hold your hand out. Hold your hand out. Oh. But they are very, very cheeky. They range in age, so our oldest lemurs are about 15 now. Our youngest lemurs are, as I say, the two little babies comments. who are now about three months old. So a little bit of variation in their ages. So like I say, just really see, I just give them a bit of a stroke, just because they can get a little Come here, and I'll get you a little one. Calm down, and I'll get you one. Come on, and I'll get you one. It's just really scary. Go and get the baby. Come on, him, and he'll get you. Thank you. That's right, you've got to keep your hand there, otherwise they are going to fall like that. If you're not a fan of them jumping, best thing to do is just stand right by the table, because then you can just hold the food straight down to them instead. Did you want him to fall off? Let mummy put him on your back. Let mummy put him on your back. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, no, you know. Oh, yeah, cheeky boy. Hello. So, this fellow down on the floor just by you yeah, guys, this is Mackie. Hold your hand uh, out Mackie's and then you'll come, 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 come and get it. Um, and then so, he is the only male that she won't actually chase off the table when there's food. Um, having said that, he is still fairly low ranking, oh. so he does kind of that keep out the way of it. Um, it's coming to you, Ben. Keep it there. He's just sat up on the branch there with the half tail. He's the one who's the old yeah. sleeper and he's the very bottom of the pecking order, which is why he's keeping oh. out of the way a bit while these guys are eating. 
Yeah. Don't need to feel too sorry for him though. Even though he's quite low ranking, he's actually one of the heavier lemurs in here. And what it is, is these guys come on over and eat all the sweets and then he gets all the carby veggies to find that. So he's still a very good weight. It's just that rather than getting the apple and the sweet potato, he tends to get the carrot and the sweet. Well, I prefer them. Honestly, they don't hurt when they jump on you. It's just so heavy. It's soft. It's not even as heavy as Kevin. They are absolutely adorable. They just love the I know, it's just different, but they won't hurt you, I promise. Now, as I say, if you're a bit unsure, best thing to do is stand right by the table because then you can hold the food straight down to them and they won't jump up you. They'll just come and take the food from your hand instead. There you go, well done, and... There you go. So, if you stand right by the table, and then you can just feed them right there. <laughs> come try, just come nice and quick and just hold it out to her. Yeah. There you go. And that's all she'll do then. Is this one too big for them? No, this one. No, they might have a bit of a nibble of it, but they do have favourite foods and least favourite, so it might just be that they're not fancying the carrot as much oh, at the moment. Look. Okay, well, no worries. Can you do a tie that over? Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's, that's why you're not allowed bags in here. I guess you try and tighten them all again. <laughs> And there'll be a bit of wriggling going on in the bag, yeah. But yeah, so 13 of these guys is not actually a lot. Of these guys we all live in groups of up to 25 to 30. So picture double the amount of lemurs all around you. That's how many of these guys we all live in groups up to. You do normally find it that there's a couple of females, a couple of males, and then most of them are their babies from over the years. Oh my god. So as I say, Abby and Rakoto, wherever Rakoto's gone now. Abby and Rakoto were the two breeding females. We've got Mouse as our breeding male. Um, and then with the exception of two of the boys, everybody else is sort of their babies from over the years, which is, like I say, very, very natural. Um, you might be wondering how we can tell who's who. Yeah. The honest answer is have a good look at their faces. They've all got slightly different faces. A couple of them as well have also got little bits of missing tail, which can help. But, for instance, Rakoto has got very, very table. yellow eyes and a very, very scared. pinched in nose. Her daughter Zora has taken after her mom. Very, very yellow eyes, very pinched in nose. Abby, over on the log, very, very dark eyes, both the actual eye colour and the markings around them. Um, Mackie has got sort of quite um, beaten up face. Marley's got little clown markings. So the more you look at them, the more different they actually all are. Um, but Zora and then Kiara, who's just upon your shoulder, those are last year's babies. So you can see they're not quite as big as the adults still, but they are obviously a lot bigger than the little babies. Put your hand up. But the lemurs, their tails aren't what we call the tails, so you come won't see them come hanging on using them. They are just used for balance and for communication, so when they walk about, those tails go up in the air, and then the lemurs can see them and follow them as a result. They don't always like their biscuits because they're seeming to like them. I'll give you each a couple of biscuits for them as well. So again, just nice flat hands with the biscuits. So these are basically hello. You know how you can get cat biscuits and dog biscuits? Stand close, Lil, and then they don't jump on you. And sometimes they like them. That's right. Sometimes they like them and sometimes they're not a fan. When it looks like today, they're in the mood. For them. Yeah. I can tell by the fact they're literally yeah. pulling my hand out of the way to try and get to them. So they are a little bit crumbly because we do tend to soak the biscuits for them just because more of the lemurs like them wet and dry. Um, but yeah, as I say, sometimes they like them, sometimes they don't, but today they're clearly in a liking mood, which is nice. <laughs> I like the baby ones. The babies are they're a little bit little and a bit manageable, aren't they? I think that one got mad that I said that. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Do you want to just get through to hold them on the table? Come on then, come close and don't disappear then. Oh, there you go. So that's still the same red biscuit. All it is is that now it's a little bit further down. It's where it's been soaked a bit more. So some of the lemurs like the biscuits dry, but most of them like them to be a little bit wetter so they're a bit softer. So we soak the biscuits for them so it goes into this sort of crumbly paste. But as you can see, they really, really like eating it. <laughs> I just so hold well, like I say, that's basically yeah. the lemur equivalent the of the cat or dog biscuits. The thing is, they try to nip you. No, they don't. They're, they're, not, they're not trying no. to nip. They're they're they will only go for the food. As you can see, you can hold your hands down here and they will just have a sniff. They're just looking for the food, that's all. Oh. Come in, keep still. Don't move, because you... So these guys do actually also go out into our walkthrough. So that's why we're doing these guys oh, first, because oh, they're going to actually go out into the main forest at about oh, half past 11. So after your experience, if you want to have a walk around, these guys will be out and about in the main forest. You'll be able to see them outside as well. 
And if they want to go right the way to the top of the trees, they do, which is quite impressive because, as you can see, the trees are quite tall. And they will go all the way to the top when they want to. I like the babies. <laughs> They're all the babies cute, are very, very cute, aren't they? They are uh, excuse super me, cute. Dora. That's bad manners. That's bad manners as well, Harley. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad manners, thank you. Look at me. Have a look at me. Have a look at me. Have a look at me. Okay, you just help yourself then. <laughs> Sometimes it's easier to just let him get something that he oh, wants. Choose your argument. Can I fit as well? Oh, that's not Lily, look. That's Lindy, it, he's picking your battles with these guys. <laughs> it just touched me. <laughs> it's gonna jump on me. Well, come closer then, because it won't hurt you. Do you know what? Be really brave and let one. Mum has got one on her. Yeah, you're so adorable. brave. Because you have the baby, you are really brave. But honestly, they don't hurt. Oh, there's a baby. A little bit for you. Yes, have a look. What's this, Mr. Man? So, yeah, both the babies are the sons of Rakoto. So, they're both her babies. She's had little twins this year. But you will see the other members of the group carrying them as well. Particularly Abby, Abba, the female, who's just sat down here this time. You'll see her carrying one baby and Rakoto carrying the other. Just because the size they're at now, they're a bit heavy for mum to be carrying both at the same time. So, she will sort of let the others have a go and let them carry them. And then at least she's not got to have two babies hanging off her while she's climbing and jumping and stuff. Makes um, sense. But these guys. How they much are do they weigh? Um, so the adults all weigh between about 2.2 and 2.6 kilo. Um, the little babies we don't know for definite at the moment because we're not actually at the stage of weighing them. Um, and the two babies from last year, one is two kilo and one is 1.8. Um, so they've still got a little bit of growing to do, but that's completely normal. It takes them about 18 months to get fully grown. Yeah, I was going to say, when they jump on you, yeah. they, they, don't really weigh, yeah, yeah. they don't weigh as much as a lot of people oh, expect. Yeah. Um, they don't feel that heavy, do they? So to put it into a bit of a size comparison, even though it they might not make sense at the same time, oh, if you oh, look at smaller meerkats in <laughs> comparison, <laughs> a meerkat weighs half as much as a lemur, okay. even though meerkats are quite a bit smaller than these guys. Okay. So these guys aren't actually as heavy as a lot of people think they are. I was going to say, if you've got a hand <laughs> they're not actually as heavy as a lot of people think that they're going to be, um, but they are quite muscly, which is why you can see they really sort of spring around and they can jump and climb and everything. So that's Abby, she won't just normally chilling. climb up, but if you hold it down she will take it from you. But some of them like to climb on you and some of them like to just sort of wait there and let you give them the food basically. And Abby's one of the ones who's like, yep, just, just, just pass it over please. Yeah, of course, of course. I was going to say, I promise, if they do come on you, as you've seen, they're not going to do anything bad. It's just that they feel a bit weird if you're not used to them. Yeah, love. Oh, hi. Okay. No, so, Ricky, you can try tossing something over to him if you want, um, but there's no guarantee if he will or won't have it. Sometimes he will, sometimes he just get chased off by the others. So sometimes he just kind of hang back. But as I say, he is still one of the heavier lemurs, so he's still getting off. It's just that he tends to come to and eat all the bits that these guys don't want because really they're a bit more carby. Are you going to let me pass this bucket around so that people can actually feed it you? Can I have that? And have that. Thank you. So we'll do another little bit of the biscuits and then I will do some more fruit and veg with these guys. Excuse me, Zora. You used to have such good manners till you became a big sister. Thank you. Yeah, it yeah. goes out the window, doesn't it? Oh, no. it definitely does. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So like I say, after this bit of biscuit, we'll give no them some more fruit and veg. No one wants to come to me now. Oh, there's one below. Oh, there's one below. Oh, there's one below. Oh, there's one below. You've got it all in your hair now. Cheeky. Yeah, a little shake, absolute shake. Sorry, mate. Right. Oh, it's not feeding either. Is it there, Ricotta? She's like, four yeah, hours. Yeah, I'm a bit. Look, it's my hand. Look at it. There you are. Can you just squeeze your hand out? Squeeze <laughs> They're so cute, aren't they? They are lovely. They yeah. are just absolutely amazing. Yeah, I'm really glad that we've done this. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's really different, isn't it? You just want to take the time. I'm trying to hold it. Oh! Is it on you? No. 
Oh, oh, this one's. Can I see the wire no? and Oh. Right guys, we're gonna do two more bits of fruit and veggie each with these guys and then we're gonna head round to meet Anne next Lena. Oh snap. <laughs> <laughs> like, so like, yeah, I'll I'll have, I will have I'll that bit, thank you. Now. Thank you. Let me go. go. Girls, if you want to each have a little bit as well. So if you want to have that bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like sitting on me. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Because <laughs> they're pulling close to you, you by the nail, so it's a little. You need to get your legs in there. Oh, He's holding on for this. Use two hands, Lil, to support him. There you go. So, yeah, you don't mind the babies, the adults are just a bit much. That's okay. Oh, <laughs> oh. You may have an incoming baby on your head. No, he's gone on the other one. That's a go. There we go. I could see him like eyeing you up, and I was like, yeah, just give you a warning just in case. Oh, isn't that tasty? Well done, mm. though. Wait, you like me? He's like sitting on me like a little chair. Oh, you've got a bit. Thank you, got a free hand. There we go. There we go, guys. His hand is on my finger. Hello. How long did this GoPro facing you? Just Please, with it. <laughs> if we can. I'm is it literally just a case of just yeah. holding it? Yeah. That's all right then. Thank you. Oh, it's going to go up. Oh, it's going to take a while. You've been charged with that. I think it's just kind of oh. Lima C, Lima D. Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> the screen's gone off, I'm not sure if Yeah, you just oh, tap it. it. Oh, sorry. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Right, guys, so yeah, if you have got any remaining bits of food, if you want to feed them out. Okay. We're not going to feed out that whole bucket though, because they've uh, got some more people seeing them a bit later on today. <laughs> <laughs> that is some serious balancing skills there. Oh, he's like, I'm just grabbing it. Oh, God, look good. You hold. Put your hand there. That's really cute. Oh, evening. Oh, you like him now. Hello. Oh. Hello. We got him in. He's trying to get your food and then can't see the food or no. He drops your food now. <laughs> I was I know. That's okay. Right then guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to make our way towards the door. And again guys, if you guys were alright to just bolt that one behind you again, that'd be amazing. Hello. That's a bomb. You can lick it, but it's not air for. Oh hello. She said I'll be on door duty as well. Yeah, I'll She's just gonna I'll help just out. Check everyone looks okay before I let in. This is it. <laughs> That's how it goes, that one jumps off. <laughs> right, guys. So in here, we've got three black and white rough lemurs. So one's just sat down in the bottom at the moment. So if I introduce who we've got over here first. So this is Jura. Jura is our boy. This is June. She's one of our females. And then sat down in the bottom, we've got Breeze, who's our other female. Again, best way to tell them is looking at their faces and their eyes. Jura has got quite dark eyes. He's got a very tidy rough and he's got very wide eyes. He looks like he's had the fright of his life. <laughs> June has got very, very pale eyes and she's actually missing her left ear. So as you look oh. at her head on, her head looks a little bit wonky on the one side. Oh, and then Breeze, if she chooses to come on over, Breeze has got little fangs sticking out on oh. either side. So again, if you look at oh, their yeah. faces and their heads, you can kind of tell oh, who's yeah. who. Where's the go? What, sorry? Um, she lost it in a fight oh, before okay. she came to us, basically. So <laughs> missing the skin, but she can still hear at least. Um, yeah. So with these guys, weather, right? they are a lot less bounty than the ringtails, which you've probably guessed by the fact you've not already been sort of monstered by them. Kay. Again, you can have a nice flat hand. You can encourage these guys to come on you, they don't always, but if you hold your hand at a bit of an angle, you can sometimes convince them to come and sit on your shoulder. Yeah. Or, the other thing you can do is on these thinner branches, if you hold your hand nice and low down, they'll actually hang upside down for you. Oh. And then they can have their food from you that way. Oh, so, wow. We'll give these guys little snacks. 
So I'm safe, just give me a second, just because their apple is in some very, very big chunks and they'll choke if they try to eat that. And then I'll start handing this out. You can, as I say, now the doors are shut, you can move around a little bit. If you do want to go down the bottom to see if Breeze wants any, that's fine. Just mind your footing as you're walking about is all I'd ask, guys, just because there are various sort of logs and stuff like that to stumble over. Um, so yes, if you're not a bit nervous, mm -hmm. so these guys are black and white roughed lemurs. Um, they are one of the largest <laughs> lemurs in the world. Um, <laughs> so these guys are not the biggest, but they're definitely Aww. up there with being Aww. some of the bigger lemurs. <laughs> and have that bit there. Um, so black and white roughed lemurs are quite special. There's two types of roughed lemur: black and white roughed and red roughed and both of them are the only lemurs that actually don't oh. carry their babies on them they make a nest for them instead which oh. is why these guys have got these three little boxes here as well as their big house it's to encourage that nesting yeah, behavior um so we haven't bred these guys not yet sure can but we are hoping to move back a bit. but when these guys no, do breed right. because they're not carrying the babies on them rather than having one or two babies at a time these guys will have four or five so they actually get to have more babies because they're not having to carry them about on them all the time so it works out a little bit better for them. <laughs> they are also the second loudest primate in the world. So when these guys start shouting, you know about it. Um, it's the same as having um, a drill go off by your head. That's how noisy wow. it is in terms of decibels. So very, very noisy. Um, but that noise is just a territorial noise. So you won't normally hear it unless they think somebody's muscling into their territory and they need to defend themselves, basically. Now these guys are not quite as sociable as the ringtails, so in the wild they only normally live in groups of sort of 8 to 10, so that's why we've only got the 3 at the moment, because they wouldn't live in a massive group, they will generally just sort of live, like say, one or two males, one or two females, and then a couple of those years babies, um, and that's what they'll tend to have. So say, we've never bred our lemurs yet, um, but we are hoping yeah. that Jura will breed with Breeze yeah. down the bottom and uh, just give her some uh, things as well. It's so mad how the nuts jump here like the lemur at the other ones. Oh, like the okay. I like the other ones. <laughs> But these guys are our biggest lemurs. These guys each weigh just over four kilograms. So picture two of the ringtails on you in one go. That's what you've got if these guys do climb on you. Don't run, don't run, Lil. <laughs> Most likely to climb on you is June. So again, as I say, if you sort of stand at an angle and hold your food out, that normally tempts her to kind of come, and, come over and uh, say hello. Although she will occasionally try to pull your arm into her instead and do a bit of fishing. Aww. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, you're going to hold it. Oh, you said it's beautiful. Yeah, but now. Is that going to get on you? Can I have it there? Come on, mate. Come on. 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 So yeah, you can probably feel that weight difference while yeah. she's sat on you there, that they are, like say, a bit heavier. Again, not prehensile tails, none of the lemurs have got tails they can use to hang on, which is why you could see when Jura hung upside down, it was just those back feet hanging on, it wasn't the tail at all. Um, but they'll do that when they're foraging for fruit and veg, and if they're looking for flowers as well. So they'll eat it that way and uh, hang upside down to get it. <laughs> well done, Lou. <laughs> That's right. I think she got on you and realised your shoulders yeah. were a little bit narrower, <laughs> and she was like, "Oh, I'm not sure I can sit here." Well done, Indy, and well done, Lily, for letting her on. Oh, lovely. No, no. Good job, oh, no, guys. Get her eating, Indy, and then she'll be yeah. come straight on you. Move closer with your back, Lily. Like that. In front of Indy, look there. In your shoulders, there you go. And when she can see your face, you can keep playing Jura, or if you do want to pop down, you say hello. Yeah. Yeah. Crisis to Lily, and she knows where Lily's food is. Well. I think her a bit. I feel like she's not eating at all. Yeah. So she could do it herself? Yeah, come on, let me back there. Yeah. Well, you just dropped it, though. <laughs> because I thought that was a lemur, I was trying to. Turn around, turn around. Wait, move out the way the camera, miss. She's going to. That's right. We'll see if we can tempt it. June! Don't look, Lily. Don't look. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make eye contact. <laughs> She's coming. Move back a little bit. Can you step back slightly? Half a step backwards. That's it. June! Hold your hand there so she can see this food. It might, like I say, it might be because you are a little bit littler. 
She might think there's not <laughs> enough room to uh, clamber onto your shoulders. Like we'll a see twig, what she does. <laughs> Come on then. Oh, I think she just yeah. Oh, like I'll do half. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, guys. You Thank you. Have a little bit as well. Put one in the hand as well. <laughs> oh no. Did he just give you a little kiss on your cheek then? Yeah. You look like he licked your cheek. I'm gonna try and get that one out. Go on then. Come here, you look, ready? Oh, that one. You coming? Come on, look. Come on. See if it can go on to the Hello. Yay. Oh, there you go. Oh, Pull my hand in him. Like, give me that food. <laughs> See if it. Look, look, you still then. Come today. in front of me. Put your back. Lil, bring your stand backwards into me. There you go, and keep still now. Don't put your head there because the same. Yeah, turn your head the other way because it's... Yeah, no, she doesn't like the idea, Lil. <laughs> She's in there. I think you are just a little bit little for her. Yeah. That's a bit this one, Lil. That's what we're going to try and take. Feel her hand. Come on, Lil. Do you want it? There you go. Lil, Lil. Lil, good girl. Oh, you still, I dropped right, it. It's all right. That's all right. <laughs> She's retreated. <laughs> Did she have a little bit of food? Yeah, yeah that's all right then. She is, like I say, we've only had her for about three months, so she's actually one of the more confident leaders <laughs> that we've got. Um, but sometimes, if June has a little bit of a spat with her, she kind of keeps herself. Oh. So it might be that they've had a little bit of a disagreement this morning, oh, yeah. and Breeze is like, I'll oh, just stay out of the way. Um, but yeah, since Breeze has been introduced, she is now actually Jura's number one female. I love so how they grab your hand to bring it into the food. Um, which I think is why she kind of retaliates against Breeze oh. quite a bit, because she <laughs> Mom, doesn't want to be I held that. Yeah, I love how they pull your hand in, give me that food. <laughs> so guys, if you do want to come around this bit again, we'll see if we can get these guys to do a little bit of going upside down if you want. See if they'll come and hang for their food. I did upside down. So again, if you hold it out of their out of their reach, they'll just drop down like that. Hello, hello. 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 No, that's too close. I know, we're not just showing them where it is. That's it. Sometimes he'll try and just tip forward, yeah, but you can tell he's going to go because he'll go sideways first and then drop down, and that's when he's going to go sort of, if I long, so like that, and then he'll drop. <laughs> oh, they are funny, aren't they? <laughs> they definitely are. But like I say, you can see it's all just hanging on with the back feet. Like yeah. I say, it's not the tails whatsoever. It is just those strong back feet. So it just goes to show how powerful they are. Lil's just, he's not going to get on your skinny. <laughs> just give him the food. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll show it and then shove it in. Stop. He might try and pull your arm in. <laughs> That's more fun in there, which isn't normally their favourite, but sometimes it's a good show to them, like, look, there's food. It's so cute. Yeah, they're lovely. They look almost like bats. Wait, what if I put no, it on my shoulder? They'll just take it off your shoulder. They'll just take it off your shoulder, is the honest answer. This is a banging job, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, you say <laughs> that, this is the most we get to spend with the animals, is oh, this really? time on experiences, oh, yeah. Most, like, if I say most fun time, otherwise it's just cleaning or washing windows or stuff like that. Yeah. So, uh, this is the most fun time we So you can't just go and sit with you? Not often. <laughs> We've normally got a fair bit else to be doing, yeah. Because we're a smaller zoo as well, we do a lot of our own sort of litter picking, oh, gardening, yeah, and painting yeah. as well. So uh, there's, always, there's always something to be done. <laughs> Sam is pretty
Yeah, if you were actually fault that one too, like, that'd be amazing. So you put it all the way in the hole in the water. No, that's all right. It's not the most obvious thing, so no stress at all. Good guys. Hello. So in here, we've just got two lemurs. Uh, with these guys, they don't often climb on you, but that's not to say that they won't. Um, this is a friendlier chap. He's the one more likely to climb on you. But introductions first of all. Just down on the floor behind me. This is my aura. She's probably everybody's favourite lemur in terms of keepers. We absolutely adore her. She is what we call a collared brown lemur because she's got that lovely ginger collar going on under her head. Uh, she's only a couple of years old, but this is her new friend. This is Bruce. So we now actually have two Bruce the lemurs. We've got this Bruce and Ringtail Bruce. Makes it a bit confusing, but that's fine. Bruce is actually a hybrid. So he is a collared brown lemur crossed with what we call a mongoose lemur. So that's why if you have a look at him, he looks like he's got a pair of ginger trousers on. And that's the collared brown lemur in him, keeping it in those, uh, collared, those uh, funky trousers. All this grey colour and the colour on his head and the shape of his head, that's all mongoose lemur. So they're not a naturally occurring hybrid. He was born at a zoo up in Cumbria who got their lemurs mixed and didn't realise that they could produce babies together. Um, and Bruce is the result of that. So he's only recently joined us uh, about three weeks ago now. Um, so he's quite new to us, but he's a really, really friendly lemur. As I say, of the two, he's the one who's actually more likely to come and climb on you and say hello. Um, but again, we'll give these guys just a nice flat hand. We're going to try a couple of biscuits because my aura was actually digging in the bucket for those first. Um, and then we can also do some fruit and veg with these guys as well. But these little grunts you'll hear them making, these are happy noises. It's basically the lemur equivalent of when a cat purrs. Um, so it's just them being happy because there's food involved, which is <laughs> understandable. <laughs> completely get that one. Um, yeah, completely get that one. So, you know, they, they just make the little noises to say that they're nice and happy because there's food on the phone. If they do change their mind and decide they don't want the biscuits, we can just pop them up on the table and give them fruit and veg, but they do seem to be chowing down on those. So, uh, coloured brown lemurs um, are quite a shy animal. You'll see them at other zoos. You will find them on experiences and stuff, but they don't sort of live in massive family groups again. They're normally quite small. One female, one male, maybe two females, two males, and then a couple of their babies. Um, <laughs> mongoose lemurs are very, very similar. Because Bruce is a hybrid, these guys aren't actually here to breed together. Bruce is just coming to keep my aura companion um, because unfortunately she lost her last friend. Um, so he's just come here to provide a little bit of friendship for her um, until there's some of the collared brown lemurs available. Because unfortunately there's not many collared brown lemurs in the UK in zoos. They're not that common. The ringtails and the black and white roof are fairly common. Com uh, collared brown is not common. So just got to wait for her to have a suitable friend available. Um, but they are really really nice really really sweet these guys are very very friendly as you can see they're just like I say just not a massive fan of climbing on people all the time which is absolutely <laughs> fine as you found with the ringtails there were 13 of them not all of them climb on people mm -hmm. yeah. they're like us they've got their own personalities oh. um bruce is definitely a cheeky lemur we have found since he joined um as i say if you have got something no. he really wants he will climb up you um he will also put his arms all the way through the mesh to try and grab the food bucket um so he definitely knows no, what's what with things <laughs> um he is missing half his tail we don't quite know what happened um it happened at the zoo he came from which was it what he must have done um but we don't actually know the full details but it doesn't seem to really bother him that much he can still climb and jump and do everything that he should be able to do he can balance well enough but he is a very very handsome lemur and as I say, it does help that he looks like he's got a pair of trousers on, so he's quite <laughs> easy to tell apart, let's face it. Now, it's easiest to actually see with Myora out of all of the lemurs. When she's next chewing a little bit of food, if you have a look at her bottom jaw, right at the front, she's got a very bright white tooth, which looks a bit like a comb. That's actually her grooming tooth, so when these guys preen each other and groom each other, they actually rake their teeth over each other, just to get any tangles out of the fur or any little bits of leaf or dirt. Um, and on my aura's face, it's actually the easiest to see that little white tooth just at the very, very front. Um, and like I say, it's just shaped like a comb. They do also have grooming claws. So if you have a look at what would be their pointer finger and their pointer toe, um, they've got a little sharper nail on those. And that's actually what they use when they're sort of digging insects off their own fur or off their mate's fur. Why is that toe bigger? 
So that's just because that's her, you know how our big toes are bigger and our thumbs are bigger? That's just how it is with lemurs as well. But if you have a good look at her back feet and at Bruce's back feet, you'll see that they've got what we call um, an opposable toe. So how we've got an opposable thumb so we can move it around like that. They've got opposable big toes as well, which is why they can hang on to things so well, because they can use those back feet like hands to grip onto things. So we'll try these guys on some fruit and veg as well, because while they ate the pellets, I feel like it wasn't what they were really after. Yeah. Um, yeah. So these guys actually eat the least um, high sugar fruit out of all our lemurs. So they get apple um, and they get peppers, and that's pretty much it. Most of the rest of their diet just tends to be fruit and veg, just because brown lemurs in particular are quite, common, uh, quite prone to obesity. So obviously we don't want them to get fat or get diabetic or anything off having too much sugar. Um, so as a result, we just give them some slightly lower sugar fruit and veg, just to make sure that they're uh, going to stay nice and fit and healthy. How long should they live? Um, so these guys can quite commonly live, all of the lemurs to be fair, can quite commonly live into their early 20s. Um, it has been known for lemurs to get into their late 30s. Um, there was a lemur passed away a couple of months ago at the rescue, Isle of Wight Zoo, and he was 36. Wow. Uh, and I think he was a mongoose lemur, so what, Bruce is half of one. Um, but yeah, so they can live for quite a while, they're quite long-lived primates. So Myora is, I think she's only about five, so she's quite young. Bruce is 16 or 16, I think. Um, so he is a bit older. <laughs> but yeah, these guys, when we first introduced them, we've got Myora in this half. Bruce was living in the little top half, you can see there. Literally within a day, they were grooming each other through the mesh and corner to each other. So we were like, normally we give it a week or two, maybe yeah. even three weeks, which is what we did for black and white roughs. With these guys, we were like, no, they clearly really like each other yeah. and want to be together, so we'll just pop them into, uh, in together. And they get on my house on fire. You'll quite commonly find, come in and find them sat together um, on their little sunbathing platform over on the wall there. Um, snuggled up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he does have a thing for holding on to hair. I'm not quite sure why, but he does have that. Because when we come in to clean, if you're crouched down below him, he will sort of start pulling your hair up. So one kiss, Jack, and one grab you. <laughs> They obviously there love you, you and I mean the best is that with my aura, if you offer her something that she doesn't like, she literally just goes, Yeah, <laughs> no, no, next 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 little bit please. And you're like, Okay, sorry. <laughs> Thought you might like some. So yeah, she uh, <laughs> definitely yeah, she definitely knows her mind, yeah. which is fair enough. Because like I say, just like us, oh, they've got taste to pass it him, so, yeah. pass it yeah. him, if it's not something you want, pass it to you might as well just not. She won't get on yet. Yeah. She won't get on yet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I like him have that. He's like, you and Carl have that bit, please. Oh, yeah. 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 I'll have that bit. <laughs> yeah. Very, very entertaining to them. Like I say, even though they're not the sort to climb on you that much, they are still really interactive and really like to do their own little things. Shallow. Are you going to have that little bit? That bit. Oh, thank you. Oh, this one. Click it. 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 You'll get bored of you. <laughs> oh, no. Good girl. Oh. But yeah, they are just so sweet natured, these guys.